Physicists have theorized that a craft using zero-point energy could travel faster than light by reducing gravity and mass, compressing space-time and generating energy without exhaust. UFO craft generates a powerful electromagnetic field. By manipulating multiple metallic layers stacked on each other, potentially using millions of volts or more of electricity. The ARV's method of propulsion is believed to be based on the work of Nikola Tesla, with the circular base functioning as a massive Tesla coil. The aerospace designer, Brad Sorensen, accidentally stamped upon a top secret presentation at an air show where he saw three unexpected aircrafts leaving him scared and depressed. Three silent flying saucers, resembling the 1950s designs, were revealed, with the smallest being 24 feet in diameter and the largest being 120 feet wide, and they were referred to as the Adrian Reproduction Vehicles, with the nickname Flag Sliners due to the presence of small camera uh, containing bubbles on the dome. A saucer-like aircraft demonstrated impressive maneuvers and then fell straight up, leaving the audience amazed. Brad Sorensen described the simple mechanics and showed Mark McKendrick their interior components uh, leading to a launch meeting to discuss the Aryan reproduction vehicles. Aryan reproduction vehicles have been studied and photographed for at least 75 years with a consistent design, an ancient Hindu text describes similar flying machines using the Mercury technology. Mark McKendrick discovered that there have been sightings and photographs of Aryan reproduction vehicles with a consistent design of a, of a round shape, flat bottom, angled edges, and an upper compartment, suggesting that these vehicles have been around for at least 75 years, if not longer. Ancient Hindu texts describe Vimana's flying machines with detailed engine descriptions, including the use of mercury, which can circulate and create a vortex when heated or when an electric current is applied. And they say that the, uh, that technology interested Germany in the 1930s. Mark's research on the ARV project led him to conclude that the craft operates using a circular tesla coil with metallic lawyers acting as capacitors liquid mercury for thrust in the synthetic vision system for the pilot to see in three dimension while also being able to exceed the speed of light mark researched the arv project spoke to the ufo abductees and found evidence of a round craft with a rotating column of a silver liquid, similar to technology seen in UFO clashes. And based on the Nikola Tesla's work, uh, it actually led him to conclude that the ARV uh, operates using a circular Tesla coil. Multiple metallic lawyers are stuck with a gap in between, which act as capacitors to store and redirect electricity. While the craft uses a liquid mercury, and a control system to generate thrust and move in any direction. The ARV uses a synthetic vision system, which actually has cameras on the exterior to allow the pilot to see in three dimensions. It can even exceed the speed of light by manipulating a field of energy around the craft. Physicists have theorized that a craft using zero point energy could travel faster than light by reducing gravity and mass, compressing space-time and generating energy without exhaust. Physicists have released papers explaining how a craft using zero-point energy could theoretically reduce gravity and lower its mass, allowing it to travel faster than light without violating the laws of physics. The vehicle compresses space-time ahead and expands it behind, allowing for rapid travel and maneuverability without experiencing changes in gravity or g-forces. 
UFOs can travel slightly and without exhaust by generating energy from zero-point energy. The concept of zero-point energy, which is the ability to assess and generate the unlimited power from the ambient field of energy, is the basis of the Aryan reproduction vehicle, a technology uh, started from extraterrestrial vehicles and manufactured by the military intelligence. Mark and Brad, who worked in aerospace, noticed that the American military had advanced UFO technology. And according to how Brad described it, the ARV's interior had a dome, jump seats, thick capacitor array, oxygen tanks, and the ability to travel faster than night. Zero point energy is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system can have and it exists everywhere even in the vacuum of space with enough energy to boil and evaporate all the oceans on earth mark mckendridge used his aerospace design skills to convert a roof cage into a technical blueprint of a functioning flying saucer and after speaking with other eyewitnesses and conducting his own research he discovered that many people had seen and worked on the ARV project. Mark encountered Kent at a near show where Kent described seeing a Frank Sosa at Edwards Air Force Base before being forcefully interrogated for 18 hours. The scientists who discovered the groundbreaking technologies related to free energy and zero point energy such as a cold fusion model and a star drive mysteriously died or had their research suppressed suggesting a potential cover-up by the powerful entities Lockheed and Grumman may be involved in a secret anti-gravity program but they refuse to discuss it due to the potential threats to their competitive advantage for example James Aaron the filmmaker who was going to release a documentary exposing anti-gravity technology died of cancer and another filmmaker uh, who is called Mark McKendrish, I think you know him, who also knew about this technology was found dead in his apartment. Throughout the history, there have been countless sightings of UFOs described as flying saucers or triangular shaped crafts. People have reported witnessing the maneuvers that seem impossible for the conventional aircrafts. Perhaps some of these unidentified objects were actually the Aryan production vehicles in action. These incredible machines are said to be reverse engineered crafts based on the extraterrestrial technologies. Uh, the concept suggests that our governments have acquired and started the crust UFOs creating the advanced vehicles of their own designs. One remarkable aspect is the propulsion system used in the ARVs. Some theories propose the utilization of anti-gravity propulsion, allowing these vehicles to maneuver effortlessly through the skies, defying the laws of physics as you know them. Another intriguing feature of the Aryan production vehicles is their ability to mimic the appearance of our natural sky, making them almost invisible to the naked eye. This advanced technology, known as cloaking, allows these vehicles to blend seamlessly into the background. For those interested in this topic of the iron production vehicles, I highly recommend exploring the work of all these researchers. Scientists and whistleblowers who have dedicated their lives to uncovering the mysteries of the iron production vehicles in the extraterrestrial technologies. Because no matter what people say, this concept of the ARV's anti-gravity is an interesting one to analyze. For more information about anti-gravity, make sure you check out the videos in the description. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more contents like this.